Welcome to our electron line. That slight splitting of the energies caused by the interaction between the electron spin and the orbital motion of the electron was first seen in the jump from the second level down to the first level in the Lyman series where we have an energy difference of about 10.2 electron volts when we jump between these two levels giving off a photon with a wavelength of about 121.6 nanometers. So again, what causes this slight splitting of the energy levels is the interaction between the spin of the electron and the magnetic field produced by the orbital motion of the electron. So if we calculate, first of all, the wavelength produced by the two jumps, that can be, that can be done by multiplying Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by the energy converted to joules, of course. So we take 10.2 electron volts, convert to joules, and we end up with 121.6 nanometers. Now, how do, we how do we calculate the difference in the energy level? Well, the difference in the energy level will be twice mu times b. Now, what's mu and what's b? Well, b is the magnetic field caused by the orbiting electron, which is about 0.39 teslas. Mu here represents what we call the Bohr magneton. It's the quantity that's defined by the charge on the electron times Planck's constant divided by 2 pi divided by 2, and divided by the mass of the electron. Now, this quantity here fits into the equation that calculates the energy caused by this interaction between the B field, caused by the orbital motion of the electron, and then this quantity here, which then is what we call the interaction between the spin and that magnetic field, which then produces the change of the energy. Of course, since we have an increase in energy in one direction and a decrease in energy in another direction, we multiply it times 2 to get the full value. When we multiply these numbers together, this is where the point zero 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 four five did I say enough zeros? Point zero 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 four five electron volts, or 4.5 times 10 to the minus 5 volts. So the Bohr magneton can be calculated as follows. The electric charge Planck's constant divided by 2 pi, divided by 2, and divided by the mass of the electron, which then gives you a value of 5.79 times 10 to the minus 5 electron volts per tesla. Notice that's about the same value because when we multiply 2 times 0.39, we almost get 1. And so you can see that when you multiply all that together, you get the value of the difference in the energy of that fine splitting. And that's what we mean by the fine splitting between the energy jumps, and that's because of that interaction. And it can actually be seen, it's very fine, but under high resolution, you can see the slight difference. And that's how it's done.